to go deliver them to him. We made him packages. He read the kids books, recording his voice on CDs. He couldn't buy me a wedding ring at first, so he weaved one out of plastic that he melted from a milk carton. I still have it. He wrote me letters and sent me all these cards and did the most, the absolute most. My kids and I waited a very long time for that man to come home and for our lives to change. I remember when the show said to my son, they were interviewing my kids and they said, what's your biggest wish for your mom? And my son said, I just want Dylan to come home and help her. I'm a single mom in a four or five bedroom house, cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, taking care of three children. And that was, that was how it was my whole life. My whole life. I, Alexis's father and I broke up when she was, before she was even a year old. We were never married. And I was married to the father of the first two. I've done everything on my own. Even, even when Orlando and I were together, he was in college and I worked full time. I worked full time at Northwestern Hospital. I was there five years. There's letters of recommendations. I've posted them in the recap section um, of my page. I am not crazy. And I've been victimized. And, and I guess you expect that when someone does something abusive to you, someone will help you escape. Someone will help you, you know? Someone will remove you from that situation. Someone meaning someone that you've been paying your taxes for your whole entire life. Some government agency, right? I've been an employee of some organization since I was 14 or 15 years old. I've worked at movie theaters. I've worked at restaurants. My first job was at a pizza place. My second was at York Theater in Elmhurst. I'm not a lazy person. I'm not crazy. I'm tired. I'm tired as fuck. And the only thing I want is to be able to lay down, put on some, you know, some cartoons, bake some snacks for my kids and fucking relax that's all i want that's all i've ever been asking for the whole time i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i can't get a hold of my mom i haven't spoken to my mother in a year maybe more i don't know if she's alive or dead or what i have no idea uh same with my sister i've been given such misinformation, I have no idea what to even believe anymore. Um, that's, their, that's their scramble plan. When they feed you such bullshit, but they are so convincing with it, they gaslight the fuck out of you, which is another uh, narcissistic abuse tactic. And they tell you that something is so many times, you believe that shit. This is a cop. Not a fucking cup. What do you mean? That's not a cup. Yes, it is. This is a cup. That is not a cup. I know what a cup look, looks like. Try hearing that this is a cup for years or months. Do you think you're going to start to believe it's a cup? You probably don't believe it. I promise you do. It's the natural human psyche. Until you've, until you're strong enough to build your mind to be able to withstand that abuse, you believe it. And that doesn't work. I mean, that, that works for anything. You tell a person they're crazy. You tell a person they're dumb. You tell a person they're smart. You tell them they're beautiful. Whatever it is you're telling them, if you're the only influence on them and you're telling them over and over and over and over and over all day, every day, they believe that shit. So what do you think happens to me when you people call me crazy every day and ignore the abuse that's taking place? What do you think happens to me when all I hear is them filtering in, you're fat, you're ugly, your teeth are, are disgusting and rotten, you're a crackhead. I don't do drugs at all, at all. Do 
Now, what do you think happens to my children? <laughs> what do you think happens to my family? Everyone's being bullied. Everyone's being exploited. Everyone's being forced to work for free. Where are we? Where the fuck are we? Do we have any rights at all here? What is going on? And when you get too close to the truth, rather than communicating or asking you to not discuss something or telling you, hey, you know, this is the direction that I need from you. Can you do this for me? Um, or, hey, talk about this less, please. It's pissing people off. You don't get any of that. It's like a, a setup. They abuse you and beat you down until you are literally, you can't take it anymore. And you, and you say exactly what the fuck is going on with your situation. I can't fucking.